They are rage. Brutal. Without mercy. But you, you will be worse. Rip and tear until it is done. and gentlemen and welcome to potential new series here on the channel this time we're taking a look at doom 2016 i know i'm about seven years late but in between me working on these bigger projects i thought we need some sort of fps shooter here on the channel as lately all i have been doing are rts games so in order to switch things around it's gonna be kind of a fun thing and yeah, I know that I have been doing the Wolfenstein series for quite a long time, but I thought maybe I will switch things up since I unfortunately cannot uh, right now acquire the new Dead Space. So we're gonna do something similar. We're on the planet Mars. We're gonna be battling the demons until we go to the hell. So I hope you will enjoy this. And I'm gonna try to find all the secrets, no promises, however. And yeah, let's jump into it and have some fun with this. We have to contain this. Ah, oh, man, the Praetorian suit, that looks dope as hell. So, because I don't know what's gonna be the thumbnail for each video, I might take a few snapshots here and there, so I do apologize for it, but it's kind of necessary. And, uh, yeah, let's jump into it, and you're gonna be able to enjoy how absolutely terrible I am at this game. Now, I did play the sequel, and I think it's awesome, but honestly, I prefer Doom 2016. I don't know what it is, but it, it just works better for me, for some reason. I have the same issue with the Wolfenstein. The first title, I absolutely love. The sequel, it was great, but I don't know, it just did not catch me as well. So we're gonna see how this is gonna work out, and hopefully you're gonna enjoy it as well. Welcome. I'm Dr. Samuel Hayden. I'm the head of this facility. I think we can work together and resolve this problem in a way that benefits us both. <laughs> So the sequel did one thing differently, and that was that they removed the pistol. Which, I honestly don't really care that much about the pistol has its use. But, uh, yeah, we're just gonna have some fun, shoot a bunch of demons, and just see what's gonna happen. Glory kills are gonna be absolutely mandatory, of course, but they don't affect the game as much as the sequel as there you were really forced to do these glory kills because otherwise you were not able to get the new ammunition which you so desperately required in order to keep actually killing all the demons so yeah i think it was a bit more better set up in here because you weren't forced to keep doing the glory kills over and over and over and over again I would love to hear when were you introduced to Doom as franchise. I actually used to play the good old Dooms, which were on the MS-DOS and so on and such back in the day. 
And uh, man, those games still hold up quite nicely today, actually. Okay, let's get in some more demons. Now, I'm not playing this on the super hard difficulty because, let's face it, these are still not your professional walkthroughs. I'm not really sure what the hell did you expect of me. But I'll definitely try my best. Damn! You move too much. And I cannot wait to get that module for the explosive ammunition. Thank you for coming to me. Where's the other one? That has to remind me the name of these bastards. I don't recall them. They have this funky name to it. I just cannot remember it. I, I don't keep this type of information on the top of my head. And somewhere in here, there was meant to be like a Commander Keen uh, Easter egg, I think. I haven't played this game in a couple of years, to be honest. And the reason why I want to bring it to the channel right now is because it's gonna take probably a while for things to settle up for me because unfortunately i'm going through uh job search and stuff like that so i really don't have the disposable income in order to acquire new titles and show them on the channel here which i would love to do of course there's also the problem with how the youtube algorithm works and that is that if you try to basically bring titles like dead space to your platform the problem which you might be facing is that the, there's just so much spamming of that type of content that finding like your videos specifically it can be quite tricky so maybe it's later down the road when the commander keen has that reference in there i'm not sure right now but we're gonna try to go also for all the secrets and all the collectibles now shockingly i actually do have all the achievements for collecting all the data logs and all the other collectibles and it seems like only like four point something percent of all the players decided to go for all the collectibles so at least this is gonna be something which i will have to try and focus upon in order to just not shoot things I'm and move around. I'm willing to take full responsibility for the horrible events of the last 24 hours, but you must understand. Our interest in their world was purely for the betterment of mankind. Everything has clearly gotten out of hand now, yes. But it was worth the risk, I assure you. So the first mission is gonna be fairly easy to like come across most of the collectibles i hope i won't screw it up i'll try but yeah there's gonna be a couple of things for us to collect we're gonna obviously try to get the upgrades for our shotgun see if we can get the praetor suits or praetorian suits or we have Praetor suits so that we can get all the necessary upgrades we're gonna need the tokens and so and such so let's jump into it the first data lock is down there and so that's basically considered the first collectible so you can view this uh, you can read this i'm not really sure if i want to be reading this considering the fact that the game is meant to be a face bait a fast based shooter so obviously they're trying to provide you with some sort of story and some sort of background which you can discover by yourself 
So this is gonna be the first one. The rest are gonna be a bit more trickier, but I'll try my best. There's not that many of them in the first mission, and they're slightly easier to get to. Uh, the later missions are gonna be definitely, definitely more tricky. So let's jump into the first arena and see if I can raise some health. I honestly think I tried to play this on like the much much harder difficulty and I absolutely did not stand a chance. Like the game is absolutely set up so that you cannot stop moving in any moment whatsoever and you have to keep moving from one enemy to the next one in order to get what you need to do. So your armor, your ammo, your whatever. Yeah, I already am out of the shotgun ammo. I think I see the next drop. So we're gonna try to bounce around the enemy. He's running away from me, don't ask why. I would probably run from a guy with a shotgun as well. But that's just my personal opinion. We're kind of low on armor. Hopefully I'll be able to fix that. Son of a biscuit, okay. If I'll be wasting my ammo like this, then we're obviously gonna struggle. Where did he go? Imp, that's the name, right? Or maybe no? I don't know. I think it's an imp. So nice to let me know in the comments. That is if anyone will be watching this. I honestly did not want to do uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood. And I don't know, I wanted to switch things up when it comes to the shooters. This has kind of more sci-fi setting to it. So, you know, Mars and all these details like that. It'll be probably a bit more fun. I do wonder, since I collected all the collectibles, it, it should still be all accessible even on like uh, the later playthroughs. So I don't think that should be really a problem. So over here, we cannot go through this gate, and over here, if you look up, you see your first collectible Doom toy. So we're gonna go fetch that one. There's like a way you need to get to it, so... You come down here, hop on this thing, jump up here, and there you go. Our first little dude. And these guys are scattered all over the damn place, so they're kind of fun to come across. Now, I don't really recall right now if there's a way for me to check, honestly, if I have came across all the secrets so uh, there's gonna be a field drawing the there's gonna be one elite guard point and there's gonna be like two more secrets so hopefully i won't f this up because uh this game works on a principle that in later maps especially once you like come across certain points uh you really cannot go back so you are kind of forced to keep moving in one direction and once you go through certain checkpoint, there's no way to get back where you need to get to. And now I'm kind of stuck wondering where the hell am I supposed to go? Like I said, I haven't played this game in ages and it's starting to show. Invalid key? You should have the damn key. Where or where am I supposed to go? Wait, oh yeah, there's the dude. And kind of blind he's laying there and all I pay attention to is the secret collectible I'm not really sure who did the tattoo on his forehead but please don't get tattoos on your face I don't know they just look uh, they don't look good when you go applying for a job I guess Okay, can we make that jump? No. Nope. 
okay the take care of just these guys they're quite easy to take care of so it's actually better for me to use the pistol on them the fun thing is you can charge up the round and usually it's enough to take them out they just have to have better aim than i have But you get this nice little animation of their heads popping off and blowing up and stuff. Okay, I think we are on the way towards another collectible. And I can just seek them out with the pistol itself. Here we're gonna require to do something. And at the end, there is the Praetor token. So this is the map. This is gonna show us what we're working with. Like the full layout. So we're gonna go and take this token. These are used in order to upgrade our suit. So we can have, like, for example, uh, better survivability. These upgrades improve resistance to environment and explosive damage. These upgrades improve the capabilities of navigation system. Uh, these upgrades improve equipment capacity, recharge time, but these one cost two. So I think I'll go with the damage reduction for now. This is going to help us out at the start later we're going to be able to like upgrade our ammo capacity or armor our health i go usually for maybe like a mix but i try to go for the arm uh the ammo upgrades because let's face it with my aim what else would you expect yep my aim okay so in here there should be another secret if I recall it correctly, maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. Okay, let's go say hi to this guy. Now let's try to avoid those damn projectiles. Okay, so that's the drone, and we're gonna have to catch up to him, but I don't want to go too far Because right now, I'm not really sure if it's here or somewhere else that the secret is located at So there's gonna be a lever which is gonna like unlock this old doom Level and of course we don't want to miss that So I'm just gonna take a look around real quick Make sure I haven't missed it. And shooting the shotgun from such a distance, terrible idea, but we do what we gotta do. Low ammo. We're gonna go grab some more. Okay, so the lever is to my left. It's over here, so that's what we need to pull. So you pull this thing. Takes a while, even to this big guy. And that opens up those doors over there. And when you walk in there, this is like your next secret. This is the old type of doom. Level. With more enemies. Sometimes collectibles. So this counts as our next secret. You press these things, they descend down the platforms. This is how the game used to look like. This is how they look like now. No wonder the freaking graphics cards cost so much. 
Now, I'm not really sure if we have all the things, the field drone. I might have to check my notes. I would hate to miss out on something. We can technically jump up here. Get to like the next area. Just want to make sure I pick up any potential ammo. So these things are absolutely awesome. You want to get these because it gives you these upgrades to your weapons. And we're going to go with the explosive shot for the shotgun. It's absolutely awesome because it allows you to create this sort of sticky projectile. Which you are then able to shoot and it blows up and it deals more damage. And it can deal splash damage. Uh, just trying to work out... Uh, The angling and the way to make the projectile stick the landing. If you make it, then great for you. If you need to learn it, then of course, trial and error works out. Hey, you're one persistent little bastard, aren't you? Go grab some of that shotgun ammo. Still see you. Wasn't sure if that one shot actually managed to kill it. Seems like we actually managed to do just that. There's one more secret somewhere missing. I'm gonna make sure I did not uh, screw up. Still not at the end of the mission. No, 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 none of that. Yeah, I'm still trying to work out where exactly to shot the bullets in order to have the most effect. Once again, a little ammo. I think I need to return probably in order to find all the collectibles. I'm gonna have to consult my notes. to start off the series by missing out on something how the hell are you alive from literally taking a shotgun blast to the face sworn something was behind me how oh, friendly fire much appreciated that dude climbed all the way up there I climbed up there and he climbed down we are not doing synchronized swimming. Oh, come on, you little bastard. Drop dead. Did he get stuck there for a second? 
No, 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 no touching. Ah, damn it. I did not manage to get in there in time to get that glory kill. Most unfortunate. Ah, oh, man. Okay, let's check the notes to see what I missed out. Got it. I missed out a data log. <clears throat> so, I'll have to track back. Uh, the benefit of this mission is that it's still possible. If I would have screwed up in another one, I might not be so fortunate. Come on, bud. And, yep. So I came across my second Doom toy. Oh, crap. Okay. Uh, trying to remember the controls. So that's our second toy. And one more data log is what I missed out. And that data log should be over there. So two things which I missed out on. I checked my notes even just for the damn thing. How the heck did I miss the damn toy? That would have been awkward. But yeah, now we have everything. And so we can head back to the end of the mission. And that's going to be it for basically the first episode of Doom 2016. So if you did like it and if you want to see more, make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. This is going to let me know that there's actually some interest in me doing a playthrough of this game. I will probably continue it. I'll just sprinkle it amongst all the other games. And while I can, I'll be working on those big projects like the 100 Days and video games. That's taking up quite a lot of chunk of my time right now. And I'm hoping you will all enjoy those. So, yeah, that's going to be also able to be found quite easily on the channel. So I'm going to thank you all. Wish you a blessed rest of the day. And hopefully I'll see you in the comments or at the next one. Thank you all for watching and bye bye for now. Welcome to the UAC. Now 221 accident free days.